Hello, my name is Danny. This is my sign name. Mina san, konnichiwa. Danny desu. Yoroshiku o negaishimasu. In the past video about chopsticks, which I made a year ago, we talked about the history of chopsticks, as well as the different styles of chopsticks in China, Korea, and Japan. Now I want to teach you how to properly use chopsticks, or at least I'll teach you my way. Maybe other teachers can teach you their way. The first thing I would like to focus on are your fingers, specifically your thumb and ring finger. Place the bottom chopstick in between your thumb and your hand. At the end of the chopstick, there should be a one inch extension. Now make sure you can't pull the chopstick away. If it slips away or if you can pull it out, that's not good. Now the other two fingers, your ring finger and pinky finger, this is where they should be positioned. The base chopstick should be just above your nail, not too much like that, that's bad form, and not on your fingertip, that's also bad form. Should be just above your ring finger nail. At this point, your hand should resemble the ASL sign for the letter K. The base chopstick should be held very firmly. Let's move on to the top chopstick. It will be held by three fingers. Your thumb, your index finger, and your middle finger. The tip of your thumb, the tip of your index finger, and the tip of your middle finger should be able to hold this top chopstick in position. It should be exactly parallel to the bottom chopstick. The top chopstick should be the only part that moves, like so. The bottom should be stable. And you shouldn't be holding your chopsticks too tightly together or too loosely, and they should never cross each other. Only the top part of the chopstick should be moving while the bottom part should be stabilized and you should be able to move it with ease. So let's do a test. I have a cherry tomato here. It's gonna be challenging to pick up a cherry tomato, but we'll try and do it. There we go, just like that. You want to make sure that the top chopstick stays on top while the bottom stays on the bottom. You don't want your chopsticks to twist like this. This is very dangerous. It's easy for food to slip out. Next, we'll try something more challenging. I have an egg here. Japanese sign for egg, tamago, and for tomato, tomato. Here we go, we got the egg. It is challenging to pick up an egg with chopsticks, but you can do it. With this technique, you can do it, but be careful you don't drop the egg and make a mess. So what I recommend is you hard boil your eggs. And I'll show you that it's truly hard boiled by cracking the egg. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching my videos. When you all watch my videos, it really makes me very happy. And now, I would also like to highlight that these chopsticks are ones that I made. They have an engraving on it, which says Anime Signs. This is in reference to all the Anime with Signs series that I've done on YouTube. I thought it would be a good idea to engrave it on the chopsticks. So we have English and the Japanese. And the sweet thing is, check it out. The chopsticks come apart in half by twisting it apart. And it comes with its own travel case. 
all four parts of the chopstick can fit into the travel case, like so. So you can take it with you wherever you want, put it in your pocket, put it in your bag, and you can travel around with it. And whenever you're ready to eat, you can use your chopsticks. So instead of using cheap plastic forks or those disposable chopsticks, which are not really good for the environment and very wasteful, detrimental to the trees, it's better to use your own traveling chopsticks which can be used for a long time. You can practice at home or outside, at work, and when you get really good, you can pick up an egg. So you can order these through Amazon. Currently, we can ship to the US and Canada. Unfortunately, we cannot ship to Europe. I haven't signed up for Amazon Europe and Amazon Japan. 皆さんごめんなさい With your support, you help me continue to make more sign language videos. Thank you for your support. 皆さんいつもありがとうございます。さよなら。